This episode of Rumor Roundup is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome to Rumor Roundup. I'm John Rettinger filling in for Noah Kravitz, who's left this planet for the week. We've got a lot to talk about in the Rumor Roundup pasture. We're gonna talk about not one, but two brand new iPhones and two new iPhone carriers. We're gonna talk about the BlackBerry Torch 2 and the new BlackBerry Bold, what's coming next from Google, and what their next Nexus phone is going to be, and that Pre-3. When are we finally gonna see it? This is Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup. So we are 100% mobile in this particular episode of Rumor Roundup. It is all cell phones all the time, at least for the next few minutes. Let's start with the big daddy of cell phones, the iPhone. Uh, coming out, rumors this week that we're not going to see one new iPhone, which we all knew was coming eventually, but two new iPhones. Uh, the interesting rumor is that the lower cost iPhone, the second one, uh, will be $350 available completely off contract and may actually just end up being an iPhone 3GS. It's a great way for Apple to enter and to compete with some of the lower end Android devices that are sort of flooding the market. So if you need to get a new phone, you don't want to sign a two year contract, you can go ahead and walk into your Apple store strut on in, hello Apple Store, and pick yourself up a brand new iPhone for 350 bucks and not have to sign one of them soul-sucking two or three year contracts depending on what country you are in. The other iPhone rumor is of course the iPhone 5, which we're still hearing is on pace for a September release with an announcement in late August, which is not that far away, we're already middle of July. Uh, so in about five, six-ish weeks, we should know what Apple has in store. Presumably, we're going to see a larger screen, perhaps four inches, edge-to-edge uh, -edge display, eight megapixel camera, probably manufactured by Sony, and of course, all that iOS 5 goodness. But I wouldn't keep your fingers crossed, unfortunately, for any type of 4G, which you can all let out a sigh. No 4G, uh, no LTE, and probably no HSPA+. But you might be able to pick up an iPhone on T-Mobile and Sprint the two carriers in the US that don't currently have an iPhone. Uh, presumably both of these new models will be available, so the iPhone 5 and whatever the iPhone 3 gs they decide to call as they revamp it and remodel it, uh, will all be out and available for any carrier. So you can walk into any store and pick up an iPhone and walk out on your way, Apple loving way, uh, I suppose. The next big rumor is actually one story that we broke over on technobuffalo.com, and that is the BlackBerry Torch 2, which RIM hasn't even announced yet or acknowledged that it exists. Uh, we had some very few hands-on time with it. We're able to put it head-to-head -head against the BlackBerry Torch 1 and walk you through what's coming. Uh, when we turned on the device, we saw it was completely inundated with AT&T software. Uh, AT&T was the original carrier of the Torch 1. That certainly makes sense. They'd be the carrier of the Torch 2. Our sources are telling us it is going to be, at least in the US, an AT&T exclusive uh, and is on pace to launch uh, towards the end of August, early September, uh, right when the bold 9900 or 9930 on the CDMA side is scheduled to launch. Um, that will launch at the very least on two carriers, uh, Verizon and AT&T, and presumably T-Mobile will be picking that up as well. I believe they've announced that they will, uh, but they may not be the first carrier to start carrying it on the GSM side, and it'll filter down to Sprint and other regional carriers as well. So if you're a BlackBerry lover, you need BBM, you love the physical keyboards, that is coming and coming very soon. Uh, the next bit of tasty, tasty rumor comes from Google land. If you're a fan of the original Nexus One or the Samsung built Google Nexus S, we've got another Google phone coming for you. This is the Google Nexus Prime. Perfect timing now with Transformers out, all the Transforming Optimus Prime jokes are out there. I can say it in Optimus Prime voice. Nexus. Optimus Prime. I can't say it. The guy Nexus Optimus Prime. The guy who does it in the movies is bad. He's also the guy who did in the cartoons, which is a fun bit of geek trivia. Uh, does a very, very good job. Uh, so this is presumably going to be built by Samsung. It's going to have something we've never seen before: a 720p screen, which is going to be dubbed Super AMOLED HD. So we have Super AMOLED, Super AMOLED Plus, we'll now have Super AMOLED HD. There have been rumors that this guy might sport a 4.5 inch or larger screen. Uh, it will be rocking the very first phone to rock Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. 
and we'll presumably see this just in time for the holidays. So if you're waiting and you're looking wistfully at all this dual core action coming out, the Google Nexus Prime will perhaps be the first quad core phone uh, that we see running on Nvidia's Ka L uh, platform, which is pretty darn badass. Uh, four cores, this thing is going to be an absolute screamer. Hopefully battery life will be longer than 45 minutes. I want to take a quick minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Carbonite. Computer disasters will eventually happen to everyone. Your computer crashes, gets a virus, you drop it, it gets stolen by ninjas or elves come and take it away. But if you get Carbonite online backup before your disaster, before those elves break in, then there's no need to worry because your files will be backed up automatically, safely, and off-site and it's super easy to get them back. Plus, you get anytime, anywhere access to your backed up files from any computer or on your smartphone or iPad with the free Carbonite app. Can't argue with free, that's pretty awesome. Uh, with Carbonite Unlimited Backup for your PC or Mac, it's just $59 a year. That's less than $5 a month. But when you use offer code TECHNO, T-E-C-H-N-O, not only are you showing your support for Techno Buffalo and our channel, but you're also going to be able to get a free 15-day trial with two months free if you decide to buy. So pretty awesome. All the details are on Carbonite.com. Remember to use offer code TECHNO to get your free two months with purchase. And that also, again, guys, shows your support for the show. Let's go to the next rumor and the poor, poor Pre-3. We saw it announced back in February and we've seen it show its Pre-ish face. A uh, little bits here and there, but we don't have a release date yet. We've got the touchpad out that's waiting for a touch to share partner. It is all dressed up and has no one to take it to the ball. Pre 2, this is old. I want the 3. Where's the Pre 3? Come on, HP, release the Pre 3 and release the Kraken. The Pre 3 is coming, supposedly. Uh, but it's going to be coming with a new processor. Very sneakily, uh, HP replaced the processor specs on their own website. Uh, what we had before was a single core 1.4 gigahertz chip, and now HP is listing a dual core 1.2 gigahertz chip. So that should make for a much faster Pre-3 experience. It seems a bit of a uh, reactive move to go ahead and have to reconfigure the hardware at this late, late in the game, uh, but hopefully they're doing it to make a very competitive product. You're still gonna get all that pre-3-ness that was announced many, many, many months ago, including a 3.6 inch screen with a resolution of 480 by 800, which for those of you keeping track at home is WVGA resolution. When is this guy gonna get released? Do you even care if it gets released? At this point, it's so late in the game. There's so many new phones coming out from Android. You've got Windows Phone 7 Mango coming. You've got iPhone 5 rumors. Even RIM is starting to make a little bit of a noise. Do you care about the Pre-3 anymore? I cared about the Pre-3 in March. I cared about the Pre-3 in April. I started to get annoyed in May. Come June, I was totally ambivalent. July, I don't care anymore. Your phone's already obsolete. You don't announce something and then release it so many months later. I'm a big fan of WebOS, but HP is following the tradition that Palm set before it by announcing devices and having a really hard time getting them to market. So that unfortunately looks to be the fate of the Pre-3. Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments. Love to hear what you guys have to say. For all your tech news, be sure to check out technobuffalo.com where you can see my shiny face and other better looking ones seven days a week. I am John Rettinger, and I'll see you and Noah Kravitz in the next video.